Welcome to Best Recaps, the world of fast-forwarded movies. Please be aware of spoilers. Is it possible for chicken wings to put a man's life in danger? Teacher Charlie is willing to take that risk, but it's unclear if he will come to his senses. During an online college class, Charlie's camera malfunctions and he turns it off. After the lecture, he stays on the couch and watches adult videos, which leads to a heart attack. A preacher visits Charlie's apartment and reads an essay to him while his friend Liz takes care of him. Despite Liz's urging, Charlie refuses to go to the hospital because he doesn't have health insurance. Later, Liz serves him fried chicken, and he falls asleep while reading about the consequences of his obesity. The next day, Charlie takes action by making a phone call, showering, and filling the bird feeder. Someone knocks on the door. Ellie, the daughter of Charlie's ex-wife, arrives at his doorstep with a horrified expression after her father left her mother. Despite her impoliteness, Charlie invites her to sit down and proposes a deal. He will give her literature lessons in exchange for all the money he has saved in his bank account. Ellie is taken aback by the offer and asks her father to stand up. But he falls down. Later, Liz visits and scolds Charlie for inviting Ellie against her mother's wishes. Ellie fulfills her promise to visit her father but remains rude and spends all her time on the phone. Charlie tries to initiate a conversation about his ex-wife, but Ellie is hesitant to talk. Although she sympathizes with him, she cannot forgive him for abandoning the family. Charlie refuses to discuss his partner's death and asks Ellie to write a brief essay while he is away. In the bathroom, Charlie weeps, but Ellie overhears him. The preacher boy, Thomas, has arrived at the doorstep and offered to help the fat man. Ellie left Thomas with his father after discovering where he came from, promising to return the next day for his essay. However, instead of working, Charlie sat down with Thomas and discussed the end of the world and great writing. Thomas attempted to convince the fat man that he could be saved, but Charlie disagreed and suggested that the only way Thomas could help was by opening the mysterious door with the key under the bed. Liz interrupted their conversation by returning with a gift, a wheelchair. Upon seeing Thomas, Liz became angry, but Charlie explained that he had invited the boy to help. The wheelchair fit the fat man, and he was happy to have his hands free. While the fat man was fascinated by the new transport, Liz took Thomas outside to talk to him. She asked him not to come again, but Thomas insisted on being Charlie's spiritual advisor. Liz shared the tragic story of her family's connection to the sect in which Thomas served. Despite this, Thomas still wanted to help. Liz rudely ordered him out of the fat man's life, but Charlie asked her to calm down. Charlie finally gained access to the room he had been trying to enter all morning. But the wheelchair was too wide for the doorway. The fat man had to look down the hallway at his cherished possessions and breathe in the room's scent. The pizza delivery man returned and gave Charlie his name, making him feel less lonely. The overweight man is seated in front of the television, devouring pizza. He then picks up his daughter's notebook and discovers three impolite sentences instead of an essay. Despite this, the teacher finds it amusing and chuckles, causing to have another heart attack. To calm himself down, the man recalls an essay about a whale. The following day, he requests that his daughter continue writing, but she is upset and reveals all of her grievances to him. The man confesses that he stopped speaking to her out of fear of rejection. The daughter feeds her father and stays up late. But when she goes to investigate a mysterious room, there is a knock at the door. The preacher is uneasy with the daughter's conduct and intends to depart, but she persuades him to stay and even convinces him to try a cigarette. The daughter demands the truth from the preacher about his past involvement with a cult and secretly records it. Meanwhile, 
the preacher peruses the man's books and photographs. The daughter's mother and Liz enter without knocking, and the preacher flees while the daughter admits to giving her father sleeping pills. After Charlie wakes up, Liz places him on an oxygen tank, and the group begins discussing the money he offered Ellie for visiting him. This deeply hurts Liz, who has been assisting him for free, believing he has no money due to his inability to pay for his own health insurance. Silently, Liz departs, leaving Charlie with his daughter and ex-wife. Mary requests her daughter to leave, and Ellie wishes her father a speedy recovery. Charlie's ex-wife pours herself a drink, and they reminisce about their past, but Mary admits to not allowing Ellie to see Charlie due to her cruel behavior. She shows Charlie a social media video of Ellie ridiculing him. Mary interrupts the argument and offers condolences for the loss of a dear friend. She cuddles up to Charlie, and they recall happier times. Charlie tearfully requests Mary not to leave Ellie so he can pass away peacefully. Charlie notices the bird food plate is shattered and becomes uneasy. The delivery man arrives, and Charlie asks him to leave the pizza and go. But this time the delivery man waits for Charlie and meets him with disgust. Charlie consumes both pizzas and leaves an angry message in the student chat room. Thomas arrives and informs Charlie that Ellie sent pictures and a confession tape to the church, and his friends and family have forgiven him. Charlie finishes his meal quickly and feels ill. As they say goodbye, the boy tries to assist the disabled man and recites a Bible verse, but Charlie refuses his help, believing that God is responsible for his condition. He gives the young man a Bible and asks him to leave him alone. Charlie teaches his final class, turning on the camera to reveal his appearance, before the teacher destroys the laptop. Despite her anger, Liz visits her friend at 10.30. Ellie bursts into the apartment as Charlie takes his last breath. Liz embraces her friend, realizing that this is their final meeting, and leaves, allowing Charlie to say goodbye to his daughter. At 10.52, Ellie scolds her father for giving her the wrong essay, only to discover that Charlie had hidden a story she wrote in fourth grade about a whale. She urges him to go to the hospital, but he refuses and asks her to read her essay to him. As Ellie reads, Charlie summons all his strength to stand and approach her. He takes a few steps before passing away and ascending to heaven. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe button for more movie recaps.